Welcome back to Tau Fiber Repairs. How do you know you have a bad VVT solenoid, also known as your oil control valve? If your engine is equipped with a variable valve timing system and your check engine light is on and you're experiencing poor acceleration, stalling, rough idle, poor gas mileage, it is possible that your VVT solenoid is bad. The VVT solenoid is used to advance or retard the valve timing by changing the camshaft angle. And when the VVT solenoid fell, it's going to trigger the uh, check engine light and you're going to get a P000A, P0011, P0013, P0017, P0020, and P0022 camshaft codes. If your VVT solenoid stops working simply because it is sticking, you can use carburet cleaner or brake cleaner and clean the inside and your VVT solenoid may work properly. If you pull out the uh, VVT solenoid, you might as well change this o-ring because over time this o-ring can become brittle and this will cause engine oil to seep out. If you clean out the VVT solenoid and you're still getting camshaft related codes, it is time to test the VVT solenoid. To test the VVT solenoid, you're going to need a multimeter, you're going to need jumper wires, you're going to need a 12 volt source. You could just use your car battery or you can use a battery jumper. Before removing the VVT solenoid, make sure there is power at the connection before removing the VVT solenoid. So the first test is to test the plunger. We're going to make sure that the plunger plunges in and out. So I'll apply 12 volt. So the plunger is working properly. So next we're going to check the resistance. The resistance should be between 6.9 to 7.9. So set your multimeter to that range. As you can see, the resistance is below spec. Again, it should be between 6.9 to 7.9. So the solenoid is somewhat bad. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.